Yo guys, what's up? John is here, and in today's video, I'm bringing to you three ways to fix the PlayStation Network sign in failed issue. I'm bringing to you three easy fixes, and everybody can do them. Starting off right away with the first fix. What you have to do is go to the PlayStation.com website and sign in into your account by entering your email and your password of your PSN account. Now just a quick head up, I have uploaded on my channel a PS4 guide, it's a 20 minute video explaining to you every possible issue on PlayStation and how to fix each and every one of them, so make sure to check it out, it's going to be in the link in the description and on the top right card. But let's continue with this video, when you sign into your account, what you have to do is go and click on your avatar or on the icon of your account and then hit account settings. When you are into, inside your account settings, you're going to go ahead and go into the, in the account tab, choose security. And then you're going to have to change your password. This is a fix that was suggested by the community. And basically, by entering your current password and choosing a new password, then going on your PlayStation and signing into your account with the new password, this helped them fix the cannot sign in issue. Now, if you do not want to do that or don't feel that it's going to fix it, do this fix right here. The second fix is, after, as you can see, I'm having a PlayStation Network sign in fail. Now, this failure is due to not being able to install the system software. So, this is the second fix. Make sure you have the system software installed, the latest system software. But if you have it, go ahead and view your connection status. Note down your IP address, your subnet mask, and your default gateway. Once you do that, go ahead and set up internet connection. Uh, use LAN cable, custom. IP address, you can go automatic or manual. If you go manual, you're going to fill in with the results you got previously. If you go with, auto with automatic, go ahead and get to the DNS section and then select custom. Right here, enter the primary and secondary DNS of Cloudflare, which are 1.1.1.1 for primary and 1.0.0.1 for secondary DNS. Then go ahead and hit next. MTU settings are automatic and proxy server do not use. Now, if uh, go ahead and do that to test your internet connection and see if it worked. If not, you can try another DNS, which are Google's public DNS, which are 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. When you do that, go ahead and uh, set up your internet connection and then test to see if your PlayStation was actually able to sign in into your account. Now, this has been the three fixes for this video. Pretty simple, pretty fast. One last thing I would recommend to you is if changing your password or changing the DNS or setting up your internet connection did not work, what you can do is go ahead and restart everything. So go ahead and turn off your PlayStation, turn off your router, unplug them from the power cord, wait for about 5 minutes and then retry again. Usually this could help you fix this error if you're having a problem with your internet and your ps4 at the same time so this has been it for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time in my next video peace